Trump campaign advisor Roger Stone directly colluded with Russian operatives behind DNC email hack. Court filings show Mueller's team has correspondence between the Trump confidant and Russian intelligence. Here's a summary of the article. Late Friday afternoon, a flurry of activity by special counsel Robert Mueller's office pulled back the curtain on their case against Donald Trump confidant Roger Stone, who last month was arrested in his Florida home and charged with lying to federal prosecutors, witness tampering, and obstruction of justice. In documents submitted to the U.S. District Court, the special counsel's office detailed some of the evidence against Roger Stone, acknowledging for the first time they possess direct communications between Stone and Russian operatives known collectively as Gukafer 2.0, as well as WikiLeaks. The communications were gathered in connection to an indictment that Robert Mueller brought against 12 Russian intelligence operatives last year. He previously acknowledged being in contact with the propaganda outfit, though once the special counsel's office began zeroing in on him, Stone tried to downplay any knowledge of WikiLeaks' role in disseminating hacked emails from the DNC and Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. Last year, The Atlantic revealed that Stone and the official WikiLeaks Twitter account exchanged direct messages with one another shortly before the election. In its initial indictment against Stone last month, the special counsel's office revealed that a senior Trump campaign official was directed to reach out to Stone regarding WikiLeaks' publication of John Podesta's emails. Now that Stone himself was shown to have been in direct communication with Russian intelligence operatives, there is a direct line running between the Trump campaign and Russian military intelligence officials. This post received a score of 13,103, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Drinking Russian vodka. Mueller, arrest me, Liptids, Roger Stone, January 25, 2019. That aged well. Like fine milk, in a Texas summer. We got em, bake em away toys. Also on Friday, U.S. District Court Judge Amy Berman Jackson handed down a partial gag order against Stone, forbidding the notoriously loose-lipped provocateur from speaking in or around the courthouse. The order wasn't in regards to the case. She just wanted him to STFU for five minutes. The U.S. judicial system is the real MVP. People keep complaining about checks and balances, whelp. Here are the checks and balances. It's the effing U.S. government, this shit takes forever. If the government had private sector speed it would be a book or movie by now. Or it would be as corrupt as a Trump business. So bankrupt? Minus 22 trillion dollars. The best debt ever, sad. S. So it's treason then. Very legal, very cool. Totally clears the president. No smoking gun. Now that that's resolved, how about we all sit down for a nice meal of hamburgers and coffee? So we have Don Jr. conspiring with Russians in the Trump Tower meeting, and we have Roger Stone conspiring with Russians behind the DNC hack. While we have Manafort and Flynn working for foreign governments, at the very least, while on the campaign. And all the while, we're supposed to believe that Donald Trump was completely unaware of everything going on, despite repeatedly making statements along the campaign trail asking for this shit to happen. Cool. We're down to the same two choices. Either Trump is a Russian agent, or he's a completely oblivious idiot. Both still seem equally plausible. It sounds like the terrible plot to a Mr. Bean movie. A dumb, top-secret Russian spy accidentally becomes president of the U.S. Johnny Russian Should be emphasized that Stone is one of Trump's longest and dearest confidants. Stone has been trying to get Trump to run for president for many, many years and they were definitely close during the election. And later on today or tomorrow we will hear how Trump doesn't really know him. I never met him. Maybe he got coffee for me once, but I don't know him. Never had a conversation with him. He certainly wasn't related to the campaign in any way. Anyways, wonderful man, good friend, being very unfairly treated by the fake news media. I really don't understand why Trump supporters are so upset by the investigation. If they didn't do anything wrong, there's nothing to hide. They should be welcoming the investigations. If Trump's done nothing wrong then it will prove his innocence. Innocent people aren't afraid of being found innocent. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.